Hey everyone. So just recently, a new version of ML.NET just got released. Version 1.5.4 was actually just released 12 hours ago at the time of this recording. And we have release notes on GitHub and a few interesting things that come with this new release. So the new feature that they added was a new API for exporting models to Onyx. And this is mainly where we can specify the output columns that we care about in our models. And this will just allow us to create a smaller and more performant model. And I'll probably do a video on this specifically later on. A few interesting enhancements that come with this release. A couple of more interesting ones is that the Onyx runtime has been updated to use version 1.6 and tensorflow.net was actually updated to use version 0.20. And this version of tensorflow.net was updated to use tensorflow version two. So we got some improvements there. We got a performance improvement on classification evaluators. And then in the auto ML API for ranking, we have the option to use a truncation level for one of the metrics. And, and this one is actually one that I fixed for something I put in when creating the sample for ranking in auto ML. And then several bug fixes here, some auto ML bug fixes, some fixes for Onyx, including some memory leak fixes, and Onyx export, fixed a perf regression for shuffle rows, and some documentation updates, including the load raw images sample has been updated. So that would be interesting to go through. And I'll put this in the description so you can go through all the changes in this, in this release. That's a quick video, but I like to kind of highlight some of the things that the team has been doing, as well as some people in the community that have been putting in some changes as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.